<laughs> Let's go on to the main challenge. What? That's a very different way to travel. I'm John. I'm Omer. And we're here in Isan, which is a very beautiful part of Thailand, uh, very unexplored. We travel a lot together, but we travel very, very differently. Shut up, John. Don't pressure me. Omer is the world's most over-organised traveller, zero spontaneity. And John is the most chaotic, unplanned, happy-go-lucky traveller. <laughs> so we thought, let's plan each other's itineraries and see how it will affect the trip. Let's switch it up and see. Come second, like you always do. I don't think I come second. You always come second. I've dragged John to the middle of Chiang Khan for a massage that's out of this world. He's going to be forced to stay still while someone else does all the moving around today. If there's one thing I know about John, it's that he can't be still for more than a minute. So I'm pretty sure he's going to be very uncomfortable doing this. Okay, this looks like I'm going to be very bored because it looks like a massage. Well, it is a massage, but it's the only one of its kind in the world. This is Mei Koi. She does a very unique style of massage. I think I look very fetching, personally. Do you know what that says? Handsome man, I think. No, it says, go lie down. If John thinks it's going to be boring, he's about to be proven wrong. <laughs> Just get ready for the time of your life. <laughs> Wait, I thought this was a foot massage. Great. Time to get walked all over again. I'm living my best life. <laughs> but I'm not too sure about John. <laughs> you must be finding this super boring. Not boring, mate. What else is next in this massage package? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not usually a fan of massage, as you know, but that was pretty amazing. <laughs> she really like got into the good bits. It's like yeah. a sports massage, but plus a pretty awesome performance. It's like watching yeah. a show. I mean, it was a show. I was just watching an auntie just apply light pressure on you and you screaming like a little girl. <laughs> yeah, and you enjoyed it far too much. I really did. For my first challenge, we're in the stunning fields of Thai Dam. Omer's not the most outdoorsy person in the world. King Little Hill is a bloody mountain. And his hand-eye coordination absolutely sucks. So, of course, I'm going to put him on stilts. Well, I'm feeling pretty pumped, so what do you have lined up for me? Something that you're going to be terrible at, me. No, no. <laughs> Who are all these kids? Am I babysitting these guys? <laughs> oh, my God, John. What the hell? For decades, the village used bamboo stilts to navigate through the fields during the rains. Over time, the kids have turned it into a racing game, and today they're going to teach us how to play it. These kids are naturals. Unlike. Your feet need to be close to the front. Look at what they do. Close to the front. <laughs> this is a disaster. About seven kids helping you. Grudgingly, I claim defeat. I think you did slightly better, but it's not saying much. The bar was pretty low. Very low. Made, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. you know, I've been to Thailand so many times and travelled around so many places, and you just never know what's around the corner. These guys are great teachers. You're a great teacher, right? Yeah! <laughs> After John Stilts didn't take us anywhere, I brought us to the cultural capital of Udon Thani for a bit of much needed colour. Where John's about to face his worst fear. <laughs> Dancing. Okay, what is this? Well look, we've got pottery, we're in a museum, one awesome pottery. place. So let me introduce you to Mepe. Sawadee <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna teach you a traditional Thai dance called Thai Puan. <laughs> I'm so sorry in advance. <laughs> I am the world's worst dancer. Lam Pai Kwan has been used for centuries as a way to pay respect to the village ancestors. We use Lam in the 
Having a guest learn it is also a way to welcome them as part of the community. ตั้งวงแล้วค่ะตั้งวงจีบไงจีบไงทูทรีหนึ่งสองสาม I'm absolutely butchering these moves. That was good for part one. Now let's go on to the main challenge. What? What is this? It's show time. John is about to lead a bunch of experienced dancers. And I'm about to embarrass these legends on stage. May Pei had asked me to be gentle and graceful, which was a bit of a challenge. Guess I ain't quite the prodigy she took me for. My humiliation complete, and Omer couldn't be happier. That was really, really average. Mm. Thanks, mate. Very kind of you. Thank you, Omer. The aunties liked me. Yeah, they were just being polite. He's just jealous. Next, I dragged Omer to Ban Chang, the gorgeous countryside where a culinary legend awaits us. Me and Omer are a little bit competitive, especially when it comes to cooking. We've done a few cooking competitions in the past. Press the pasty. Oh. He always loses. So today, on camera, we're going to settle it once and for all. A chance for you to prove your culinary skills. Nothing to prove. This is k u n g m e k u t l a i s o d i k r a She's the head chef of the Thai Dam community. Okay. We are going to cook a traditional Somtam Isan. Papaya salad, and then they're going to judge as master chef style. Now we're talking. <laughs> She's going to show us how to make the uh, somtam. Minor mm. complication is she doesn't actually speak a word of English. She doesn't speak any English. No, nothing. <laughs> and also, we've only got 15 minutes to do it. Yeah. Don't worry, that'll be enough. It's great. <laughs> papaya starts with the papaya. Good. Peel and shred the papaya. Stop. Chop. Then add five chilies, or maybe a few more. Anisot, anihang. Tomatoes, lime, some palm sugar, three spoons of fermented fish sauce, some green beans. Three, two, one. Down. The moment of truth is upon us. Who's going to be the victor? It's my complex flavor profile that she loves. I think. Thumbs up. She's only being polite. You're the least complex person I know. Are we? No. Yay! I'm the best chef. I'm the best chef. Okay, now I know. See, she knows you're about to cry. As much as it pains me to say it, I think yours is just slightly less bad. After his fiery loss, I've got just the recipe to calm John down. This might be the hardest of them all. We're in the village of the Wang Nam Mo people. John has to be mindful, meditative, and part of something traditional. Maybe he'll surprise me, but most likely he will. Is this going to involve dancing? Don't worry, John. It's not about dancing. It's about being mindful and at zen. But let me introduce you to some people. This is a special welcoming ceremony where the whole community takes part in a ritual to bless and greet newcomers. The ceremony is called Bai Si. It's a particular ceremony for Isan. So John's always avoided any inward-looking activity, but I know inside he's a big softy, and I'm sure he won't be immune to the charm of these amazing people. So she will start a chanting blessing to us. You have to move towards the elderly to be blessed. I was quite apprehensive at first. But uh, in the end, I was actually very affected, bringing an outsider in, and they did that in a very nice, sort of personal way. Is this for sale by any chance? He asked me, "Is this for sale?" No, no, no. If you want to buy it, you have to be a member of the Wang Nam Mo. Not for sale. She said, "If you want it, you have to be a son-in-law of this place." That's a good deal. I accept. <laughs> <laughs> Omer's not super experimental when it comes to food, so I'm going to try and expand his culinary horizons a little bit, or maybe a lot. Okay. So I 
I figured for your last thing, yeah, we could give you something that you're actually going to maybe enjoy a little bit. We're here in the market. Shopping? Before we get to that, we're going to have some snacks. We've got these delicious freshwater crabs straight out of the Mekong, grilled to perfection by Auntie here. Saudi cup. Can we get two crab, please? It's for us. With the shells the whole on. Shebang, mate. Have a go. Okay. It's actually not bad. Freshy. Pretty good, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Mm. It's okay. But we're not done yet. So this is just level one. What they call you. Now we move on to the next course. Alright. Got to these. What are these? These? Silkworms. Another delicious Isan delicacy, mate. I was apprehensive about the crab, but I'm super apprehensive with these silkworms. I think you'll be surprised what they taste like. Let's have a go. I don't trust you. Think about all the shopping you can do. I don't trust you at all. Okay, this isn't bad at all, actually. Uh, I'll give you maybe once a year an <laughs> Isan silkworm fest. I'll take that. All right. Thank you very much, Andy. All right, man. Cap and that cap. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you. I'm proud of myself as well. Yeah. Cheers to Ethan. Cheers. <laughs>